Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I've got another SQL prompt tip brought to you by Redgate Software. A lot of times where I might be working along a management studio and I'm writing code. For example, something like the sensor statement. And I'll get an email or a note and I want to run some other code and I'll paste that in the management studio. I get a query from somewhere. Now I can easily select this and run it without disturbing my other work by just using my cursor and, and selecting it like that. However, what if this code were actually uh, formatted differently? For example, what if this were longer? Let's take this code out of there. I'm working along. I paste this in there. Selecting this can be somewhat cumbersome. However, once I've pasted this in there, you'll notice my cursor is down here at the end of the query. In SQL Prompt 6.4, if I press Shift F5, it'll actually execute just that statement. It's called Execute Current Statement is the feature. This allows me to just run this one query. Now you'll notice it's now selected in green, but this is actually just a background color change. If I were to actually try to press Execute or Control E, I would execute both statements, so I need to be careful of that. But if I'm working along and something comes in and I want to say, you know, I've got a quick query here that I want to execute, as long as my cursor is somewhere in the query, I can Shift F5 and it will just execute that query. Hopefully you find this very useful. It's become one of my favorite new features in SQL Prompt 6.4. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'd get the latest version and give it a try. Thanks, I'm Steve Jones for Redgate Software.